Hello everybody and welcome. I am the beat up plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 where you might notice something weird. I am at war with Nafara. The fact of the matter was that this lady asked me to press her claim. I didn't even realize that for some reason, perhaps via the betrothal or perhaps the death of her, uh, the, the death of her father, who does is, is, uh, is a subject of mine, she came to my court, and that allowed me to attack Nafara. Now, because I'm fighting for her claim, I don't think it will give me a lot of threat, and allows me to once again tell Nafara, Hey, why don't you go out of my territory? Uh, that will just help me, because uh, Nafara didn't want to have an alliance with me anymore, and I really want to grab these last little pieces. I should also make note, Abyssinia here has not followed the right orders, and they have stopped conquering over here. I have aided them once again by simply raiding people to bits. It's been working wonderful to do it that way. Uh, it, it definitely helped them out simply by having my army be aggro to them as well. Uh, now, there's also a war of Mauritania over here, or Maghreb I should say in our case, who in wants to fight for their claim, but he isn't doing too hot. Um... In fact, apparently he has just surrendered. Interesting. And now it's time for us to actually catch that army. We need these 8,000. We have a higher initial troop count. And it is my desire to make use of that in order to defeat them. Uh, we have called upon these two kingdoms already. I might call in more, I don't know. Just maybe let me get out of here and then go back so that Aswan definitely has the claim. That is another revolt that keeps... To increase council power. Not bothered by it. So, time for me to or be an organizer. Time for me to have my newest generals ready to fight. I'm waiting for this person to be locked in. There we go. Hmm, I was just about to say, it showed a plus, but it has to be a plus on their side, indeed. Uh, oh, lovely, I shall duel the commander myself. Shall I? Yeah, I shall. Let's see how slow this goes. I know it's a kinswoman, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, somebody uh, did it instead of me. I have here a rival lady, and that's too old. That I can't allow right now. Until I send the gift and demand a religious conversion. Now, in the last episode, I also talked about a great work I wanted to start, and whoop de doo we have started the Great Underground City. I've also renamed this to the Mosque of the Fallen. Being to commemorate all the people that fell there, and that's perhaps why we're not touching it. it now feels like it's a commemoration war or something like that. It just feels more appropriate. Uh, we're gonna chase. We're gonna stand this down. And she has called an... Uh, for some reason, she has a connection to Ireland. And I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I do want to have to speed up again. Thank you. Now you are allowed to marry her. And somebody's going for this as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That's not ours. There we go. That should be another victory, I assume. Yeah. And via these routes, I hope to obtain what we require over here. I'm going to siege this down. What do you want me to do? Duel. Sure. I'll do what I can do. Why do we have so much... We should not have attrition over here. But yeah, I hope to use this trick in order to simply gain... Oh! Well, I helped out him. That worked. Excellent. And he immediately attacks Nobatia. Thank you, Duke of Aswan. You finally understand the necessity to take this down. And the Hasimids, be warned, they're not a single county count. Otherwise, I would have attacked, but no, they're over here as well. Yeah, that is a bit of a n nuisance. 
But, uh, yeah, we've been very quiet and peaceful, so no a lot of people are in the defensive pact against me, and due to the fact that this triggered via a um, request and not via a true war declaration, I did not trigger the defensive pact. hey -o! Time for us to win a war against family members that do not want to be in an alliance with us. That will teach this woman to listen to me. Um, actually, I really should go to the capital. That is just smarter. Yo, I will accept that one. I should have actually looked if he had any claim to anything. He's gonna inherit something and... Oh, you have decided to land over there. Alrighty then. Last one, where are your forces? Over there. I want to help you out, dude. Um, uh, let's just... I can't put you on raiding because we are in a war. That's enough boats to move the troops. No, I will not use good m more good men and give just random titles in my duchy away, because that's just a dumb idea. We're gonna go over here. I will go to this, I'm wondering where that is. Yeah, that's where I thought it might be. She's desieging that, which is no bueno. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some men and attack her on the island. Where are you gonna go? Oh, well, we captured a few people, but nothing too important. But yes, this is why I come back for episodes that uh, I know nowadays I'm, I'm taking way more time before I come back. But I didn't want to make this mm, uh, series unnecessarily long. And I do want to have some action when I'm making a video. So that whenever you come back to the series, you know that it has been cool. And for those that are true followers of the series, like to the very tippy end, awesome. That's what I want to give you. And after that, we can port to EU4 and you will know the history of Africa. We have captured a port over there, so we can land over here. I was just about to say, there's no battle in here? That's ridiculous. But there are battles in here, I just didn't look properly. So, are you going to go to the capital, I guess? That's what you're doing? Oh, you've DC'd that, actually. This is interesting. I shouldn't have slowed my roll one second there, because this is not a good way to land. Ooh. <laughs> he doesn't know the gold. Well, that only barely went right, because I saw my forces getting a little... Mm, dipping a little low there. Why do I... Why do I get a smuggler's ring? I have... Good enough stewardship, and good enough marshal. Dang. Let me just split these forces in two. And we'll start re-sieging everything. Uh, you must learn on your own. By the way, my daughter came of age, and she is good. As shy isn't great, but otherwise it's excellent. So I'm gonna hopefully get a good daughter out of this, because this daughter, yeah, failed her education. But I, you only need one, right? You only need one. 
Yeah, the Christian person we can sacrifice to the creators. That's fine. Do -do -do. Yeah, we're taking this for Oswan. Nice, Oswan. Doing well, Oswan. Well done. As long as you, you keep it up. The Hasab, is this your, now your only county? Is this true? Yes, it's true. I will, I will, I will nail his ass. And then the next episode probably will be an attack on the Abbasid Empire. You could also be wondering, why aren't we seeing the attack on China that you've so carefully manipulated? Well, they have a peace treaty with China. I gotta have, wait 30 years before I can try that. It will be enough in time so that everything will be considered de jure hours, but... It's not as practical as I would have hoped. The idea. Uh, decline. She is old. She won't give any children. Sure, ransom stuff. We have way too many characters we can ransom. Oh, I should not have ransomed just willy-nilly. Because now I'm ransoming from her, but I think we never captured anything important from her family for this to be successful. And a funny thing is that this actually is not entirely necessary, because her heir is a count of mine. So there was actually a chance he would have already become part of, of my realm without attacking. But I thought, hey, this is actually a request that for once probably will speed up our chance for greatness. So I took it. The question is, will you surrender in time? Yes, you will. Goodbye. Let the game realize that this is my territory now. Doesn't doesn't see that for this. So, how much threat did that cost us to have? Very, very big number. Okay, so that did not do as I expected it to do. That is annoying. Because I did not need it back, but... Stand down. Why are you being annoying about this? Because you are traveling through my territory. Right. There's actually a reason for this. The Queen of Africa... Favorite and claim on the mm, barony. She's being annoying to her... Okay, so can I now stand down? Yes, I can. Cool. Because then we can do magic and resummon it all back. But in the meantime... I think Nefara is still everything it was. I will... That's a non-aggression pact. I can grant independence. Boom. Once again. Form an alliance. Yes. And... Yes, she is married to my grandson. So... Or she has uh, a betrothal to my grandson. Boom. We are now back down to 45.7% threat. I do not know. I should check, actually. How much did we gain or lose? Uh, we lost as much as we gained for, for going for her claim. But it made at least Nefara be independent again. And an independent nation that is... Uh, is actually going to listen to me. And this is going to... It's still, this boy is going to inherit everything, which is going to be weird, because that... There's no... Uh, it's not allowed for an uh, area from my country to go outside it, so there's a chance that Nefara will come back to us yet again, but... That time by uh, a different matter. But the fact that we now have an alliance... Is, is very good again, and there's a chance that she will get children... Making sure that we won't be in trouble. There we go. Because we're going to help us one over here conquer what it needs to conquer. 
because by having a raiding army over there, we are hostile to them. And we can attack. And this man we can just individually capture. Because that's just a small little barony that should not cause too much trouble. You arrived at my court even. Okay. So, Aswan. 99%. I wonder when they will surrender. Because I'm ready for some small wars. Oh! Holy! That went quicker than I expected. Did you do that? What happened over here? Who, d who declared this war? Revoked, conquered in a holy war. The sword of the ancestors. There you go. Just one more county and then possibly Africa will no longer have this very weird issue across where its name is located at. Just, just one more war. Having said that, we still need this county. I am aware, but yeah. Hey, that's an interesting flag. Yeah. You're not in the right location, buddy. A hundred percent. Claim the victory! Come on, claim it, man! He got a hundred percent on him! What are you waiting for? There's a Reconco. Reconquista... Possibly occurring, so we might need to defend the new queen. Of course, she doesn't have a lot of troops, because... This is the former queen, and she has, like, all the duchies. <laughs> so, yeah. It's done. It's done! You. Declare war. For these holdings. I do not need my ally for this. Thank you. Start sieging. Now. Hasamit, you are dying. This means that we will not have... I really hope we will be able to break uh, the Abbasid when the time comes. Whoa. Do we have slow fever? It's not showing in our capital. Fortune builder. Link to a perfect girl. It's formed an alliance with the Queen of Africa. Wow. While well, they first attacked each other so much. Why is Africa still over here? Africa! Look at it! Look at our nation! Gosh darn it, man. Well, at least we got rid of the cramps. This is supposed to be a celebratory episode. One in which we gain all of Africa. Minus one county, I admit that, but... Yeah, that's why I'm not, not calling the war just yet. And look at the m cash flow. This this rating has done very well for us. And I'm thinking of... Uh, when I go off camera again to really start rating the Abbasid Empire. Just very, very gently. But what I mean by that is by carefully making sure I do not... Destroy the right thing. There you go. Why are you mad at me for... Female ruler wants control of the city, wants control of the... Dude, I'll grant you everything. Hold your horses. Transfer of vassalage. There you go. Transfer of vassalage. There you go. Now you're happy. Two very powerful dukes over here. Oswald and Alexandria. Well, we did it. I really dislike that Africa is still here. I guess the game just doesn't want to place a name over... One of these deserts. Dang, man. That's annoying. So. That little war that we just did. Uh, ruler of Aswan. 
Okay, so that war cost us 1%. I don't know why the ruler of Abyssinia cost us 0.5%. And then again, ruler of us won 0.5%. But we are below 50. Who is still in it? The Hasimit. These two small fries. Who are, by the way, independent little nations. So I might want to take that. Take Cyprus. Gain more of the islands. It feels proper. But I don't want to lose it over the fact that I just want this one county. Because it's the only county that we lack. And I have to admit that currently Nobatia still needs to be destroyed. So first, this territory. What I'm going to have decided to do is transfer Vazalic if I can. Where's Nobatia? Can I transfer him? Uh, Aswan, I mean, sorry. There you go. Nubia back up, and then Nubia can start reclaiming this. It's 30th of December. Should flip now. Yeah, and now it's switching into Nubia. So in a hundred years from now, everything would come in, and then the M and now that we've claimed this, Nubia itself can come in. So supposedly in. in 99 years, everything will be solved. This will be of Nubia, and this Nubia will be incorporated into us. And then we just need this one little thing. And by then time, if they get us one as a title, uh, it's also... Yeah, I, I don't think I really am going to be bothered if my Egyptian title becomes a little bit smaller. It's not... It's about the Empire. It's about the fact that we have Africa. One just little county, but that's for the next episode. <laughs> I, I, I won't be able to do that now. I wonder what we will see back from these great pillars over here. Uh, we, we should really build everything. Dynasty opinion. Sure, let's build it. Each little bit of dynasty opinion is it's only going to be good because we have a lot of dynastic kings and queens. Beneath us, we're building this up to level 2. Can't do anything with this. Building this up to level 2. We're almost ready there. Khufu, we've restored this and we're building this up as well. Okay, then I guess it's going to be a little round of... Utter matters. Did I say utter? I meant utter. Utter. That, that, uh, uh, that sounded horrible. I like the way these Coptic hospitals look, but... Um, time to upgrade this then. Well, that's your training ground. Training grounds. Should also start doing a free warrior lodge. I'm not going to build Coptic Spearmen because no, that culture is going to go bye-bye. So then that building becomes useless in case you're wondering why I am not building those. Uh... Yeah, we could use a few shipyards, actually. Same with the camel riding grounds. They're going to be useless once the culture flips. And I'm kind of counting on, flip on the culture flipping. And I know that some people are very interested in that, so let me just show you after I did this little build run round. There we go. Six, six houses and soup kitchens is what we're building. So let me just show you that. What has happened in the time that you were gone. Well, I have to admit, I am not converting as much as I like. I have the capital now converted to Hausa, but there's definitely a lot of Egyptians still here. So that has to go. But Hausa is definitely spreading across the western part of Abyssinia and in the southern part of Nubia. Uh, luckily, the queen is still Nubian as much as... Uh, sorry, is Hausa. So I hope to have... More of this land flip away. Really also hope that these Berber provinces give way. This man is Hausa, this man is Hausa. They were Berber, so this is recently changed. So that's pretty good. And this person is also Hausa. And yeah, the Berber o on top here is all disappearing. So in EU4, we're going to have such a massive Hausa culture. Which has its advantages and disadvantages. 
The advantage is that we will probably have a lot of trade routes being very good, or so a lot of counties being very good to us, giving us a lot of manpower and what have you not. But any other culture, if in order for it to become an accepted culture, I believe you need 5% of your income to come from that culture. If I'm going to have all of these very minor cultures present and a huge house or culture, it's going to be very hard to get a 5% other culture. So we're going to have to see. Wow, even here it is already changing. Yeah, Grenada, recently added. Which I probably am going to give away once we can. Uh, now that we recently conquered this, I should change where my man is preaching. There you go, preach over there. And even here there's already a little bit of house of spreading. But yeah, I, I hope to have at the end of the <laughs> this gameplay house of... Uh, and we still have a lot of house over here. It's not spreading as fast, but it's still definitely some houses definitely present. Oh, they have a war of Burgundy, attacking the conquest of Savoy or Savoy. It's Savoy, I think actually. I think I also always said Savoy, but I think it's Savoy. But it might be French versus English pronunciation. What's going on here? Finally, somebody's doing that. This this piece of Ireland has been bothering me since for the longest time. Oh, and this is such a mess. I mean, Scotland looks pretty darn good. I don't know why the Kingdom of Lithuania is in Scotland. In the Moray prepared invasion of Lithuania. Oh, no. Moray is trying to do something dumb. Where is the Scottish throne? At all. That would be logical. Five would be impossibly. County of... That's gonna be interesting in EU4. Oh, this is Sweden. That is Scotland. This is such a weird map. I am probably going to have to move a little bit around. Wait, 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 wait. The kingdom of the Lappi exists. Unfortunately, it's not the Lappish culture, though. It's the Sami culture, I should say. It's all Finnish. There are now two Finnish kingdoms. That's kind of cool, but <laughs> I wish for once to see the Sami culture live. Nanets, by the way, also created a kingdom over here. Novgorod is kind of collapsing after it, it went... Kvalik. They do have a genius now, and they have a claim on the Novgorod kingdom. Oh, this is the Ruthenian kingdom. Novgorod itself is not. Inherited? Created? It seems like an adventurer or something that, that did it. And now they're losing to Bertrand's host. A French Catholic coming into town. Huh. Riga is... Uh no, it's not Riga. Sorry, Riga is over here. I thought for a moment that, that that one little province state that is in EU4 was going to also come be, become ported from here, but no, it's over here. This is Memel, and uh, this is the old, old... I would say f extent of the Teutonic Order, the upper borders of the Teutonic Order, on the Baltic Sea. They were actually not the first region they had, but for that there is a mini-series on my channel, where we start with the Teutonic Order in Transylvania. And... Uh, the Byzantine Empire, I don't know how they did it, they had only 17,000 men, but they managed to actually beat back the Jihad over here. And you are... I don't know what they've done with Decadence, but you are doing really fine. In regards to Decadence. In regards to Decadence, you are amazing. Oh yeah, I'll accept, I'll help. <sighs> do I want to help or do I want to focus? 62,000 men, oh my... Oh, and he actually has more vassals right now than he normally should have. 62,000. I have 52,000, but I need to get them from everywhere. There's also... I can also hire stuff. I might just go for it regardless of threat. Regardless if the other set has been destroyed by that time. But I also may just go for Cyprus. Oh well. Uh, I know this is a bit of a shorter episode. It's because I mm, panned around a bit so you could see what has happened in the meantime. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless that the fact that 
everything to the west of the Red Sea is now ours. The central Red Sea, the northern, the southern, and even the Sea of Calm. All of it, to the west of it, is ours, and all south of the Mediterranean Sea is ours. We are Africa. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.